In today's video, we're going to do a voltage test on a five years Nissan Leaf lithium ion battery um, voltage deviation. We want to see what the voltage is after being sitting for five years wired the same way for 14S um, um, six strings of sevens. So we have seven modules because the cells are inside four cells to make one. So that's why you have a positive here. You're going to send a tap and you get a negative. So it's just like two batteries in series here. If you put a probe right here, it reads, gives you the voltage of um, 4.2. And here again, which gives you the total of this battery is going to be 8.4 uh, top max or top um, charge. But we have seven batteries here, seven modules put in series for 58.7 volt, for 48 volt battery configuration. So this is what it is. We're going to do a voltage test on a five years Nissan Leaf lithium ion battery. We're gonna do a voltage test to see what the deviation is on the batteries right here without a BMS. Okay. They haven't got no BMS on these batteries. This is almost like a 20 kilowatt sitting here. Okay. All right, let's check because it's a 500 watt on each module which is supposed to be a 66 amps on each module brand new but you have to remember about degradation degradation comes to play when we get these batteries off from the vehicle stay tuned now i've set up the uh, fluke meter and i hope we these fluke meters can move at all when stretching the wires so that we can able to see the exact voltage or um, cell, how much voltage on the cells. So I hope I can get this meter set up in a way that all of you guys can able to see properly. And uh, we're gonna go with a test. If it's too far away, I'm sorry, but uh, I gotta do what I can do to get this batteries tested. We're going to start from the left going to the right. The first um, module here on that string. So we're going to the positive. You can see if you see a negative showing on the other side. Remember these batteries are series. The positive can be here. The negative can be on the other side. Plus can be here. So we just keep going. So you see minus and plus, minus and plus going. So don't worry about it. Okay. So we're going to put the probe, the, the negative probe on the positive because I don't want to stretch the wires that long. Let's go and see. Check again. I have this meter sitting properly. No. Let's see. Okay, we have a 7.82, 7.81, and uh, let's see here. If I have this probe connected properly. Okay. 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 Go. All right. We're going to go to the far end here. Oh, 
hope you can see it. I'm not seeing what you're seeing. Okay, we're gonna test the entire block now and see what the voltage. 52.4, we're gonna come back and see, do the same thing here, we didn't do that earlier. 46.7, I think there is a, a cell there that is art. And we tend to have a shortage there because when pulling the batteries and uh, touch somewhere else and arc the battery. 7.5. Six two. So this is the one brick we already tried and now we're going to test the entire voltage 52.48 so we're going to go to the other one here i hope you can see it i'm not seeing what you're seeing Okay, we do the entire battery now, 52.45. Okay, so we have the last two on the back here, which I'm hoping you're gonna see properly. So this. Okay, we're gonna do second to last here. So this is the last one. We're doing the entire voltage now, 52.14. And we're gonna do the last module here. So let's start from back here. I hope you can see that or alter that. So let's do it again. Okay. I'm not seeing what you're seeing. This is the last one, we do the total voltage, 52.47. So guys, this is the, uh, the deviation on the cells. Um, this is uh, surprising here, which I'm, I know about, I knew about. And this one here, he dropped to 4.0 because this battery was arced prior to the test. Uh, a wrench, a tool touched into this battery, then it spark. So he dropped the voltage to 4.0. 
and I think it affects only two cells here. This is a 3.1. Okay. Let me switch the wires. Is it a negative? Let me see. 3.1. So it's only two. These ones are all fine. And these ones are all fine. These ones are all fine. All the cells are reading, uh, reading the, the 7 point something. They're all within the 7 range. It's just not this first one. It's nice. And this is the one. 4.0 and the 3.1. Only these two cells here. These are the two cells we have to charge to bring up the voltage to um, the standard or we can able to parallel these cells and bring the voltage higher to match the other batteries. So is your calling and um, whatever you want to do when it comes to your batteries. If you want to use a BMS, you can use a BMS if you don't want to. Like I said, deviation is not that great at all. For five years, these batteries have been sitting or been doing whatever. And um, 20 kilowatts of battery here, lithium ion from Nissan Leaf, I think they're holding up pretty well. Only these two cells we have to charge, bring them up. And I told you the reason was there was arc that happened on this that brought the deviation on the voltage or the voltage discrepancy is only these two one and two the second and third battery they're all of them they have correct voltages well we just wrap up this video again and we want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for more to come more we are back on the nissan leaf batteries maybe this is the, the, the last time you're gonna see them or we're going to be doing more projects into this. Take care now. Bye. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA Command Center in Minnesota. And stay tuned for more we're going to be doing with these batteries. Like I said, it might be the, uh, um, the last time you've seen these batteries. Or maybe it's going to be a continuation video with new equipment coming incorporated with these guys and you'll be surprised. Stay tuned for more Victron equipment coming and we are gonna be expecting the latest um, MPP solar hybrid inverter charger 6048 um, uh, inverter that is coming. I'm gonna do a review on with um, battery less option and um, with all the good stuff. 500 volt open circuit it can take so we can run anything with batteries or without batteries this is the latest one of the latest of the mpp hybrid inverter charger all right take care now